Hi everyone, my name is Norman. I run the blog nimbleneedles.com and today I want to show you how to knit the brioche stitch. The brioche stitch is a very lovely reversible knitting pattern that creates a very voluminous fabric. It's an easy two stitch repeat and perfect for scarves and hats and other items that need to keep you warm in winter. In this video I'll show you the basic stitch, the two colored version and how to knit the brioche stitch in the round. So let's dive right into it. Let's start with the basic brioche stitch first. It's a very simple two stitch repeat with one preparation row. You can cast on any number of stitches, but if you want symmetrical ridges on both sides, I recommend an uneven number of stitches. You will also need three selvage stitches in double stockinette stitch on each side. You can also just add one knit stitch, but um, I just feel that doesn't look as nice in my opinion. And one last thing, cast on with two needles because you know the brioche stitch is very very stretchy and you will want to cast on to match. Once you cast on all stitches you need to knit one preparation row. You will only need to knit this row once. So we have three selvage stitches so that's knit one then slip one purlwise with yarn in front and knit one. And now for the actual brioche stitch preparation, you have to do a yarn over purlwise, slip one stitch purlwise and knit one. So yarn over purlwise, slip one purlwise, knit one until the very end. You will soon notice that you can actually combine the yarn over and the slip stitch like this. See you end up with two loops here. You don't need to knit them separately. You just can combine them. Not easy. And you um, knit in this pattern until you reach um, the end of the row. And then you add another knit stitch, slip one with yarn in front and knit one. And this was your preparation row and now you can turn around the work and we can start with the actual brioche stitch. So first we need to knit three selvage stitches in stocking knit stitch and because this is a return round we have to slip one purlwise with yarn in front, knit one stitch and slip another stitch purlwise with yarn in front. And now we can start with the actual brioche stitch. The repeat is very easy. It's just knit together two stitches and then yarn over and slip one purlwise across all stitches and rows. We cast on an uneven number of stitches so we start with a knit two together. Um, if you cast on an even number you would have to start with yarn over uh, slip one purlwise. So, um, but actually it's quite easy. If you stretch out your stitches you can all see these double stitches and the single uh, knit stitches. And what you have to do is you have to knit two together all these double stitches and do a yarn over and slip one purlwise um, for the single stitches. So it's knit two together and then as I showed you you can combine the yarn over with the slip stitch like this. Knit two together, yarn over, slip one, knit two together and so on. Some tutorials and instruction will um, say this double stitch is a brioche stitch and or a brioche knit but quite frankly I just feel it's in the two together. And there at the end of the story, there at the end of the row, you have to slip one purlwise with yarn in front, knit one stitch and slip one purlwise with yarn in front. And then you turn around and you add another three selvage stitches, slip one uh, purlwise with yarn in front 
and you continue uh, the brioche stitch. This is a single stitch, so we yarn over and slip one. Here we have a double stitch, so we knit it together and so on. So one thing I would like to mention is that the brioche stitch takes quite a couple of rows um, to truly emerge. This is after three rows of knitting and it really looks kind of wonky and that's the way it is. Um, knit six or eight rows and then the pattern emerges. It does take a while. Now I told you you can knit the brioche stitch in two colors as well and this is a fun application because the ridges will appear in a different color on each side. So suppose you're knitting a hat in a two colored brioche then you get a reversible hat that will show different colors on each side. So how fun is that? But you will need to employ a little trick to get there because here's the problem. So suppose this is our uh, knitting needle and then you knit one row across in the blue color. And then the tail is here and um, then you would join in the next color here, knit across and then the tail is here. Okay, no problem. But if you turn the rubber around again and want to uh, continue knitting uh, in blue, then well, you want to continue here, but your tail is here, so this is obviously a problem. So here's one important thing you need to know. Brioche stitch is actually a form of double knitting. So you are only knitting every second stitch. These stitches here, they are all slipped. So the tail is here. So what you can do is, or what you actually have to do is, you have to join in the new color from this side, slip this stitch, and then knit this stitch, slip, knit this stitch, again slip, knit this stitch, slip, and knit this slip. And only then is this first row finished. And then you turn the project around and then you can knit the next round. And what you will be doing again is you will slipping all stitches in the other color. So we knit this round and then you will want to turn the project around and you want to knit this uh, round in the blue color. But here's another problem. You want to continue these uh, ridges here, which are knit stitches. But on the wrong side, they appear like uh, pearl ridges. So what you will have to do is on the wrong side, you need to reverse knit. So when you knit in this direction, you have to purl two together or knit two together and vice versa. Let me show you how to do that. To knit the brioche stitch uh, in two colors, you start with casting on just like you did before and then you knit one preparation row, but you will do it in a different color. So I'm taking teal here, so I'm knitting one selvage stitch and then it's yarn over, slip one purlwise, knit one, yarn over, slip one purlwise, knit one, yarn over, slip one purlwise, knit one, yarn over, slip one purlwise, and one um, selvage stitch. So um, the first round, the first row is just like you did knit it before, but you're starting from the other side. And then you turn the project around and then you pick up the first color again and you start with the uh, first brioche stitch round. So one selvage stitch and here comes the very important part. He, the next stitch is a double stitch so you would knit it together. But we are on the wrong side here so we need to purl it together then yarn over slip one purlwise, oops, and purl these together. Yarn over slip one purlwise, purl together. So you need to think in right side and wrong side um, when you're knitting the brioche stitch in two colors. And um, then you slide back um, the 
work to the other end and then you knit across in the second color and here you need to pay attention again because in this case you need to knit them together and if you uh, look carefully you can already see that these are uh, knit stitches so you knit them together then perfect and once you finish that round you um, turn it around again and then you knit uh, across in the second color knit one and again here is a double stitch and you can see there is a little v here so you knit it together slip one pearlwise yarn over knit two together so what you have to do is you have to um the first couple of rounds are a bit difficult but then you can actually uh see what you're doing already um so uh you knit across again and here you can see okay there's a little pearl bump here so we need to purl it together and um that's how you need to approach the two color brioche so there's four rounds you need to repeat over and over again but actually it's just um, the same stitch all over again you just need to knit every row twice in each color and you need to look if the double stitches continue a um a knit row ridge or a purl ridge and if it's a purl ridge you need to purl them together and if it's a knit ridge you need to knit them together and that's actually the secret to the uh, two colored brioche stitch you can also knit the brioche stitch in the round and here's the good news if you know how to knit the two color brioche stitch this is easy because it's exactly the same so you start by one with one preparation row like before and then you knit one um, regular round and so knit one together yarn over pearl wise slip one knit two together yarn over pearl wise slip one and so on and when you reach the end of the round let me quickly get there um, let's pretend i uh, finished the whole round here and then you see this is a single stitch so you will yarn over pearl wise uh, slip one uh, this stitch and here is a double stitch and you would have to knit it together but because you want to continue these pearl ridges and you can already see here's a little pearl bump down below you purl it together then yarn over pearl wise slip one purl two together and so on and in the next round you can see the double stitches they will be uh, on top of a uh, a knit ridge again so you knit it together so you switch between these two um, rounds just the way you do um, in the two colored version and um, actually the really good news is that when you're knitting it in two colors in the round um, it's exactly the same so um, there's actually no turning around or so you just knit across in the second color and purl two together all stitches and then you knit in the main color again and um, knit two together and so on anyway that's how you knit the brioche stitch i really hope i was able to show you this amazing technique in all its variations please give me a big thumbs up if you liked it and of course consider subscribing to my channel because in the next video i'll show you how to increase and decrease the brioche stitch and i'm sure you don't want to miss this happy knitting and enjoy the rest of your day